It's sort of like being a detective because you get clues, you're trying to figure out what they mean, and then you collect more evidence, and you build a story about what you think is going on, so I, I just find that really fun. We're out at Axial Seamount, which is about 300 miles west of the coast of Oregon, offshore, and it's an active submarine volcano on the Wonderful Ridge. Axial Seamount is one of the most highly studied volcanoes on Earth. Over the last several decades, there has been people doing research in all areas from hydrothermal vents to the seismicity to what we do, which is measure the deformation of the volcano surface. It's the most active volcano in the Pacific Northwest, but it might be one you haven't heard of or, or knew existed because it's about a mile underwater and about 300 miles offshore. But it's had three eruptions in the last 30 years. 1998, 2011, 2015, we think it is likely to erupt sometime in the next several years. What we're doing is studying these eruptions, how it builds up to eruptions, what triggers eruptions. So we're hoping the lessons we learn here can be applied to volcanoes worldwide. The deformation measurements at the Axial Seamount have been going on since the late 90s. And in science, we have a saying that if you have an ongoing time series data set, you don't allow that time series data set to die. So I've been participating in these cruises for about eight years now. This is my fourth cruise with the Axial Deformation team. And it's great to be a part of this legacy data set that we've learned so much from. This is a fantastic project that spans multiple institutions, multiple career stages. We all have slightly different focuses in the research that we bring to the table, from classic volcano geology to the details of high resolution bathymetry, to geophysical techniques, to numerical modeling. It really takes all of these areas of expertise combined together to build a picture of what's happening in the subsurface at Axial. We've got four teams out here doing various aspects of the work. We've got the Jason ROV team, and we've got the AUV Sentry team, which are making dives with the AUV and mapping the seafloor. And we've got our science team that's doing all the work with the seafloor instruments. And then we have the whole ship's crew that operates the vessel. We could not do any of this work without the, the ship, the ROV team, the Sentry team. Everyone involved is required to make this happen. It's a lot of hard work from a lot of people. It's a lot of brain power that comes together to, to be able to do this science. We learn the most about how volcanoes work by catching them in the act. And that's what we hope to do here by putting all these instruments out. We're ready to catch the next eruption at Axial Seamount.